Yo, what's up? My name is RetroPat, and welcome back to my Dungeon Offenders series. This is episode 133, and you guys must be pulling your hair out. The amount of times I tell you, hey, I'm going to do this thing next episode, and it gets delayed until two or three or four or five episodes later. I am so sorry. There's just so much to do in this game. It's so exciting. There's been a massive update recently that added a new difficulty mode to the game, which I'm so excited to jump into. I haven't even been able to yet. It's been criminal, ruthless difficulty. But first, I need to go ahead and actually dump upgrades into my Jester. You see, I created this character. I was interested in creating the character. I got it to level 72, and then I never actually distributed any of my points because I asked you guys, hey, what do you think is a good way to build the Jester? And most of you told me casting rate and DPS. This seems like the biggest thing. You want it to be an upgrading character. You want it to be able to run around and do some DPS. That seems to be the general consensus. So today... I'm going to go ahead and just dump a bunch of my... I'm going to hold control click, which should do plus 100. So we'll do plus 100 there in a cast rate, plus 100 into hero damage, and then from there split it up a little bit. Maybe half or... Oh, this is five per click. Let's go ahead and do that up to 150 maybe. I don't want it to be... I, I probably do need some HP if it's going to be an uh, upgrader and caster just to give it some survivability. Maybe that's not correct. Hopefully speed... I think speed will be taken care of alongside um i think speed will be taken care of with by equipment because i'm pretty sure once we reach 100 speed it's like the max or whatever so i'm not gonna worry about hero speed right now i should be able to equip some stuff and get that taken care of what else should i dump this into let's get my hp up to 50 because I, I just i don't want to be dying on this character i know it's not crazy but there we go the rest into cast rate i'll be putting a lot more into casting rate here in the future someone also mentioned how funny it would be the idea it would be it'd be an off meta build it wouldn't be good but the idea of doing a uh tower a tower like an actual tower attacking jester that sounds hilarious to me because like these towers i can tell you with very little experience and understanding with this character this is not good Look at this deep. This is not a good. This is not a good character for, for for actually defending with towers. But wouldn't it be funny? Isn't it just? Isn't it just a cool little? Isn't that one of the most fun challenges in a niche game like this to do something that is one of the hardest? It's like it's a personal challenge, and I like that. So let's go ahead and look through. We have literally zero upgrades on this character, so we are literally zero starting from the bottom. And now we're going to be here by the end of this episode. Let's go ahead and get our XP upgrade actually. That might give us a quick... I need to get speed on this thing, stat. Because I hate... I hate this this walking around everywhere. Let's go ahead and take that upgrade, put more into casting. Right, We need to put a lot more love into that. I was kind of spreading things out to the, for the start. So let's head over here, head over to our item box, and get some basic gear on our Jester. Also, I'm noticing that gearing my Jester is kind of a unique challenge that I'm not actually used to. My Jester doesn't really want tower stats at all whenever i look at i've trained myself because every character is like a tower based character that i have i've pretty much trained myself to always look at tower stats but i have to like really adjust and be like no 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 you don't actually care about tower stats right now retro pat what you care about is the casting rate the speed the damage the hp like those actual character numbers which is not even something i normally look at when when even uh, thinking about or considering gear pieces there's also just a ton of stuff that I can't equip, like all this mythical stuff or whatever. We're not quite there. We are one level away. So honestly, what I'm mostly looking to do here is just plop something. I can't, I can't even equip mythical. Maybe I do need to get one more level on this character then. Because I don't know if I have any gear. <laughs> I don't know if I have any gear that I can put on this character. Oh, I just realized. Yeah, I actually just don't have armor <laughs> that I can put on this character. Ah, except for this. Welp. Never mind, guys. We are actually fully geared. This is all I will need and ever need on my Jester. We are we are complete, guys. It is done. I didn't even think about that, though. That is actually so funny that I'm going to have to actually... I'm going to have to wait and take time to go ahead and uh, and actually get this thing leveled up one more time. What does this even do? This Oh, it's like the smallest little projectile in the world. All right, but that's it for the Jester today. No more joking around. Now it's time to get serious, guys. Now it's time to get a little ruthless i'm going to be jumping into the deeper well ruthless probably not hardcore mode my first time and maybe yes maybe no um probably not i'm gonna see if i can i i, I don't know so i saw some comments of people saying that i think they're gonna think i'm gonna die immediately i they're surely not surely i can beat the first map right surely the easiest map in all of dungeon defenders on the hardest difficulty i mean i know i'm at like i'm at mid game right i've got to be at mid game i know i'm not at end game but surely 
we can beat it. You know, we'll see. We'll have to we'll have to see, I guess. Now, the first the start is probably gonna be the most important. A little bit of lag spike there. Apologies. The first my first decisions are gonna be the most important. We have 90 seconds, 60 defense units, 60 minion units. If I can put up, there's one ogre coming in. Do I just do I only have 60 mana. What do I build? I think I do actually build an ensnare aura. Because it's actually so cheap. It's only 30 mana. That's actually kind of crazy. Do I build a strength drain as well? That becomes the question. The slow aura we build. Strength drain maybe. Let me not swap with my mana. Let me let me drop the mana. Swap over probably to... I feel like the summoner is probably my best bet. And just building an archer minion. Here. I guess. Oh this is going to be weird. An archer minion here, and an archer minion here. That's all I can think of. That's all. I, that's all I can think of. And then maybe one more archer minion, I guess. To I, I don't like. I have fifty more defense units. Anything else I could build? One more archer minion. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Let me switch to my like DPS barbarian. Like that's that's the best that. There's no way my barbarian does anything here. I feel like he gets stomped. I feel like he gets absolutely... Maybe it's even better, actually, to switch to a character that can build a tower. Wait, let me switch over to, like... Yeah, let me switch to my mage. Okay, we're jumping into wave one here. Here it is. My goal is to see something die and then just build... Build a lightning tower as fast as possible. So look at these guys. How much HP do they have? Okay, 800k. Doable. That's doable. These guys are beatable. Okay. The odor is still coming in. Give me some mana. Kill him and give me some mana. Okay. That's no mana. Oh, no. It's so doomed. Well, it's over. Well, 46 million HP. <laughs> oh, it's so... It's actually Jover. You know what they say. Boys have two moods. It's so Jover and we are so back. And currently... Oh, it's so Jover. Oh, it's actually... <laughs> I thought they were joking. I thought when someone said, oh yeah, try Deeper Well and Ruthless, you'll lose wave one. I was like, come on. Okay, I'm, I know that I'm, you know, not the best Dungeon Defenders player, but I'm not, I, there's, you know, I'm not losing on wave one on the first map of the game. Surely not. Womp womp. Okay, well, surely I can't just give up after one try. I think we've got to give it another go. I'm going to try this on with the Squire, I guess, and I think building... Harpoons is gonna give me a much better shot. I feel like the I feel like the the archers the summoner archers just don't do enough They're just they're not actually going to do enough I think something more like the more hard in line like the squire to hopefully be able to Build either harpoons or, or, or a tower that does more damage and is stronger Also, that can be a wall. Maybe I just go ahead and build like spike blockades Okay, so the harpoons are 80 each so I could build two harpoons and that's that's it. That's the whole setup um, I mean, I'm going to try it. I'm going to, I don't know what a good setup wave one is going to look like. Let's go ahead and uh, press G and uh, we're going to jump into it. We're going to see how much mana I can get if I can do anything else. Can I even, do I even do any damage to these guys if I were to go? Okay. 3k per swing. I guess this guy doesn't have the, what's it called? Okay. He's getting shredded a lot, a lot faster. I wouldn't say a lot faster. Oh, but the spider... The spider got behind it. Well, now it's all Jover. Oh, no. And the and the ogre is on this side, so he's coming this way. Oh, this was so much worse than... This was even worse than the last one. Oh, fellas. Oh, no. Womp womp. All right. Uh, maybe it's just that map that's impossible. You know what? Maybe it's really difficult because there is so little mana at the start and you have so little resources. Maybe I could do a different map on Ruthless. Right, guys? Not Hopium. All right. This map was recommended to me to do on Ruthless. I've never done this map before. I saw a comment that said they could do it with similar stats to mine. And it honestly was pretty easy, they said. Let's see if this YouTube commenter guide is guiding me in the right direction. And may, maybe it works for them, but it won't work for me. I probably just don't have the skills or setup required. But you know what? I'm going to try, man. Firstly, the first time playing this map, I love the themed maps. I'm playing a Halloween map in, what is it, July right now. Um, I'm excited for this spooky season, guys. I've never been a... Uh, it depends. It's really funny. 
I, this is like a non-Dungeon Defenders ramble, so I apologize in advance, but I notice the older I get, the more I like the holidays. It's kind of funny. Um, as a kid growing up, I kind of didn't like a lot of holidays. The time off school was nice, but I don't know. It kind of just meant being stuck at home and kind of doing whatever. Um, when you have more control, when you're an adult, you can pick what you do on your holidays. Um, you can choose to be at home and play Dungeon Defenders. You know what? It just feels that much better. So I don't know. I kind of enjoy the, the vibes, the break of monotony, and the general spooky season. And I hope you guys experience the same thing. You know, if you didn't enjoy certain holidays, spooky season, Christmas, for example, I really enjoy as an adult, but dreaded it as a kid. Um, maybe it's something that you hope to, you know, look to enjoy more in the future. Hopefully you guys, it works like that for you guys. That's all I can hope for. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe try to plan something around it. Plan like, oh, I'm going to play my favorite spooky games. I think centering the holidays around your own interests is so cool like oh i really like video games let me plan let me do one horror game a day in october or or do like videos around that i think that is just that is one of the coolest ways to experience them i feel like but I'm wasting too much time yapping and not enough building. I got to do stuff, guys. I'm actually putting myself in a little bit of a circumstance. Maybe this will. Let's go ahead and do some aura stacks right here just super quickly. Same thing over here. Let's see if we can build them but not have them overlap. Okay, it's looking good. How many aura stacks do I need on this map? I think three. You actually need a lot of aura stacks on this map hilariously because, yeah, this spot ends up being a problem i do love this map to be fair maybe if i even if i could just do wave one of this map that would be quite good maybe that's what he meant is like just doing wave one maybe for whatever reason this map is much easier than than i realized or something like that um let me switch over to the Ooh, can i even build a lightning tower i don't think i can Ooh. um maybe i switch to my summoner i think that's what i'm gonna do and build some archers I don't really have much to do here, to be honest. Let's build one archer here, and then one archer. I feel like this area really has problems. Build one archer here. Um, if they get past these aura stacks, it's—I mean—it's all Jover. I don't. I feel like this is. Whoa! Oh, I didn't realize. It's like the other one. They have like a wisp. To, uh, okay, he's, he's targeting me. That's fine. But no, not the crystal. Please, please, please. Do I have to block? Oh, I have to like... Okay, let me get mana. I have to... Something has to die so I can get mana so I can build more things. This feels impossible. Maybe with a better build. It's, it's definitely much different than I expected. Um, No, this actually feels possible. I feel like this is possible with a better build. At least wave one. I do need mana. I have no mana. Nothing's dying. Oh, let me phase out here, actually. Thankfully, phasing out costs zero mana, which is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to lose there, though. But that's... I feel like that's possible, and that was a human error and a build error. The witch hats on the thing's amazing. Let's, let's retry this. I'm going to try to put aura stacks straight around each crystal, I think. There's only two... No, there's three. There are three crystals. Okay. Instead of the choke points, let me just hard put aura stacks around the crystals... And I think this weirdly might be doable, but we'll see if I'm wrong. So as you can see, I'm just going to be focusing building the three aura stacks on the three crystals, just directly on top of them, pretty much. Alrighty, here we are. I have an aura stack at each meme, and then I have a little bit of mana left over. I think I'm just going to go ahead and like keep that mana. Maybe build like a electric aura. I could do like a ensnare an electric aura here, kind of leading its way into the... Either crystal if they want to go for that. Maybe I do go ahead and do that. The time is kind of running out. And then, yeah, I'll try to do that. I'm going to press G and just jump into this wave. Shout out to this. I actually think that whoever commented this is correct. I actually think that with proper skills and a good build, this probably is my best chance at winning a, a ruthless map. Or, or at least up there. Ooh, the different uh, characters. Something is attacking... Oh, that he's not really taking enough damage. He's going to be able to... He's going to be able to take down... Oh, they're all going to be able to get rid of the... Auras, aren't they? I need mana really bad. Yeah, something I've noticed. Yeah, that drain aura goes down. Oh man, I, I'm definitely. I just definitely can't beat this. I don't think, but I don't want to kill my chickens too early. The the guys they don't end up doing that much damage. So I'm able to kind of. I just I don't do much damage with my character, and then it's just up to the. I can like upgrade things. Let me upgrade the aura stack to do more damage, or the electric. What I was trying to say, up upgrading the electric aura is probably ideal to do more damage here. Let me just pick up this mana. 
I, I don't know, smack around over here. Nothing's really taking damage. It's all really slowed. And, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't like, in, end the map instantly. But, yeah, I, ah, there's just no winning there. Um, it's a good attempt. It's a really cool map. I like the idea of just playing the map as it is. Really, really cool map. Maybe that's my next go-to. I've got to do something in this episode. Make some sort of progress, right, fellas? You know what? Maybe it's about skill and understanding. And if it's about that, let's jump onto the map that I've played more than any other map in all of Dungeon Defenders and its Magus Quarters. My favorite map in Dungeon Defenders. This, this episode's all about exploring the Ruthless game mode, seeing what it has to offer, and seeing just how Ruthless is Ruthless. And so far, I've come to the conclusion that Ruthless is extremely Ruthless. It is absolutely 100% guttingly Ruthless. <laughs> Hopefully, we could actually get a win at some point, but uh, it may do what the name tells it does, and it's it's pretty damn ruthless, guys. That's all I can say. Ruthless mode is ruthless. Yes, that is confirmed. I think I'm going to do one aura stack here in the center. I know that's not ideal, but I think it gives me the best chance of winning on this map, if I even have a chance. I just realized after building that one aura stack, I get down to 60 mana. Ah, uh, that can't be good. Uh, I know that's like, oh man, that can't be good. So what's my what's my best strat now? Now I go ahead and build an archer here. This might be the worst one yet. I feel like this is literally a worse strategy than anything I had done previously. Um, let me switch over to my my quote unquote DPS here, my barbarian, which has like pretty poor stats. Like this guy is is in desperate needs for some upgrades. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's just see this failure nice and quick. Just just take me out, fellas. I'm going to be honest. How much HP do these guys have? Let's see. We saw, yeah, 1 million HP on the goblins. The orcs are packing. Oh, 7 million. You know, just like ogre levels of HP, generally, from what I'm used to. Um, okay. You know, nothing crazy, I guess. Nothing, nothing really. You know, is it really that crazy? Ha, ha, ha. Uh, the djinn, you know, 10 million HP. Once again, is it really that crazy? Okay, well, yeah, it's ruthless, by the way, guys. I do love that they added the little new tag to all the maps that are new. So the new warping core challenges that drop, that's really cool. This is, that map is so... I wish this. I wish I could do this map. This map is unbelievably stunningly gorgeous. It's just so hard. The, is, I think it's called Amanac is the original name of this map. Let's go ahead and see if we can find it actually really quickly. This map is... Oh, so it should be over in like Lost Quests, I think. This map is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Yeah, Amanac. Insanely... One of my favorite maps in all of Dungeon Defenders visually. I tried it on easy difficulty, I'm pretty sure, and I just, I could not take a W. All right, well, I was really excited for the Ruthless content, and I still am to some extent. Like, it's something more for me to work towards and grind, but... I, I can't do it yet. I, I just, Ruthless is too ruthless. I'm not even close. I'm not as close to beating a single one. If you have a recommendation for a map you want to see me try on Ruthless to embarrass myself further, we'll get some more Womp Womps in there. Let me know in the comments. But I, it, I came to the conclusion. We found out, guys. Yes, the Ruthless mode is very ruthless. And the, and the Dungeon Defender devs really do want to focus on endgame content and want to focus on those, you know, advanced dungeon defenders, right? And I, and I get it, and they should, and I, I love a game focusing on the endgame players. I think it's actually really, really good and important, but I do want to see some more people get into the Dungeon Defenders. I think this game is amazing. I think it's a beautiful game. I think there's a lot of potential for, like, I, I shouldn't say revival, because I think it's alive and well. It's just a little more niche. Um, the game's amazing. There, there's a great video game here, and when you have a great video game, it's possible for it to never truly die. Um, you'll always have that dedicated fan base, and I think it's possible for a revival at any time with a truly good game. You have the hard part done. You have the incredible game. Now we got to get some new players in here and guide them to the end game because it's tough to actually get there. I'm still working on it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. A little bit more of a rambly episode, uh, a little bit more of just embarrassing myself. And just, but that's, that's so much of Dungeon Defenders. Losing is a huge part of the game, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I lose a lot, you know. I'm used to it. No big deal. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for videos every other day regarding Dungeon Defenders generally. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the content, allow me to spend more time on Dungeon Defenders content. Patreon is super appreciated. Linked down below. And thank you for going above and beyond. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Arino. Yo, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. And a huge shout out to everybody listed here who goes above and beyond, supports the Patreon, and allows me to focus more on Dungeon Defenders content. Thanks again. Have a great day.